Hey everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Desert Rabbit Sheet and Yarns and I want to give you a bit of a close-up view of the spinning wheel when I spin a yarn that is going to be a slightly thick and thin yarn that turns out to be a spiral art yarn. Now we're spinning a spiral art yarn. On, I'm trying to get my my band set up here. But we're spinning the spiral art yarn on the Ashford Elizabeth 2. This is not a spinning wheel that is typically used for art yarn. This is a spinning wheel that is really made, it has a very big wheel, it's made to spin consistent traditional yarns, not inconsistent thick and thin art yarns. But we are going to ask our little old Ashford Elizabeth to, to do that. All right, so this needs to be thicker for sure. There we go. So when I'm doing this, this is a good yarn if you're starting out with spinning. If you're new to spinning, this is a good yarn to try and spin because we don't spin this consistent. We don't spin this all one thickness. We spin it thin, then we spin it thick. And typically when you're starting out spinning, you do that naturally. Your yarn isn't perfect naturally. So this is a good way to utilize what you're already doing and turn it into a yarn. Now, if you've been spinning for a while, this is something that I highly recommend because it helps you pay attention better to the thickness of your yarn. So I've been spinning um, like a traditional consistent uh, singles for a four ply yarn for a long time. And when I switched into doing this, it was like, you could definitely feel the difference. You could feel uh, that this was going to be spun differently. It was gonna require different movements, different, different way of spinning. And it just helped me with control and precision and being able to make or ask the yarn to please do what I want you to do. Ask, I mean, I have the fiber to do that. That's bigger than I wanted. Whoops, that's what happens when I talk. So, we're spinning along. And this is actually a little bit over an ounce. I used the blending board for the first time to create this fiber right here. I have never ever used a blending board um, for anything, I don't think. I don't know, but I don't think I've used a blending board at all. And so, and I didn't really, I had like five minutes of watching two different videos on YouTube. That's what I did for my instruction this morning. And then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna sit down and do it. And then this is the result, which, I don't know if this is, I don't think this is a very good result. But then again, I've got to look into this whole blending board business. There's some learning that needs to happen. So, there's a lot of different ways you can spin a yarn thick and thin. This is just one particular way. want to keep moving this on the hooks so it loads on your bobbin evenly. Ooh, I like that red. Let's see. So my spinning wheel, you can hear it. That means I need to oil this. This is this is a bit out of balance. It needs to be oiled, for sure. Um, it's something that really your wheel will function better if you take care of it. Uh, Elizabeth has a lot asked of her and sometimes she doesn't get oiled when she wants to be oiled, which is not what you should do to your spinning wheel. So as you can see, based on the time of this video, this doesn't take long to do this. This is not something 
Um, when you compare this to spinning a traditional yarn that is the same consistency, uh, that takes a bit longer, especially the thinner you spin the yarn, the longer it takes to spin the fiber because, um, that was a terrible join, that was too thin as well. It just takes longer to spin fiber thin and consistent because you really stretch these fibers out. If you trail more slowly, everything will go more slowly. So if you find you're struggling to keep up with the pace of spinning your yarn, if you're doing this and you feel like, I can't keep up, this is like almost out of control, this is the edge of chaos, then trail more slowly. Now with this spinning wheel, you can only trail uh, slow, so slow before the wheel actually just stops. This is not a wheel that was designed for super slow tradling, so hopefully you have a wheel that is more appropriate to this art yarn than this one. But it still can be done. Alright, move that over. We have two, just about, yep, two more row legs left to spin up. There's a lot of pictures of this yarn and different things on Pinterest. So you can head on over to Pinterest, find that. It's pretty cool. If you want this fiber, this is available. Go to razzledazzlerabbitry.com. There's only three of the Spinner Surprise boxes of fiber left for the month of January. Otherwise, after that, they'll be sold out. These are, it's three ounces of this fiber. It's uncarded. You get to do the carding how you want. So if you want to use a, a hand carters, if you want to use a drum carter, if you want to use a blending board, whatever it is that you want to use, you get to do that yourself. But you get three ounces, you get it shipped to you, and it's $29.99. So you go to razzledazzlerabbitry.com. That includes shipping. And you, um, you go to the shop and click on Spinner Surprise Box. Right now, it's a picture of the spinning wheel, of this spinning wheel, but I change the picture up every so often, so it might not be that by the time you watch this video, it might be a, a picture of something else. So I want to keep this thicker. I don't want this to be a super thin yarn. I want the thin parts to be placed in there, but I don't want it to be super thin. There's a nice thicker section, another one, and this one's going to be a thicker section, and then thin. A nice bit of red and some blue. I could adjust the tension on this because this is not drawing this in very well. I'm finding I have to pull everything back when I have to do that. I don't like that. I want it to be a nice and steady flow. I don't want to have to constantly tug back. I don't want it to pull in. If it keeps pulling you in, if you have to keep fighting with it, then your tension is too high on your spinning wheel. If you are uh, constantly have to do what I'm doing, where you're constantly like, letting the twist travel back um, and you're, you know, you're pulling, then this uh, is not enough tension. So I just adjusted the tension a little bit. Okay, there we go. You can change the way, you can hear the way it sounds different when I adjusted the tension. And I don't have to uh, pull back nearly as vigorously with the tension adjusted. That's awesome. That's the way we like it. Almost done, and we can start spiral applying this. To do that, we are going to change the bobbin out. We're going to put a new bobbin in here. 
If you only have one bobbin, you just use a ball winder, create a center pull ball, and then you can um, begin plying that way. So typically I've just been switching out the bobbins. On this spinning wheel, it's not always easy to switch out the bobbins. This is a single treadle. Uh, I have it set up as a single treadle, single drive right now. You can do double treadle, you can do double drive on this, but that's just not how I have it set up. There we are, approaching the end. And then the fun part, plying begins. Awesome. All right, we're gonna loosen this up a little bit. And switch out this bobbin. Let's see here, we use this bobbin. I have all these bobbins to choose from. Uh, this one doesn't have much of a lead on it, but that's okay. The leader line is this, doesn't have much on it. Whenever the lead line is short, that's all, that's all right, your leader line. Um, it makes it a bit more difficult because you don't have as much time, you don't have as much slack. to get it where you want it. Put this drive band back on. There we are. Set this up. Look at that. What a disaster. That's gonna make problems. I'm actually gonna set this down here. Take my thread. So this thread comes with your January Spinner Surprise fiber as well. If you're new to spinning, I encourage you to try that out. Try the Spinner Surprise box out because uh, there's videos with all of it. You get, one of the, you get at least one video, usually more, and get to sit and talk and spin and learn how to spin together. So I highly encourage you to try that out. It's just $29.99 a month. Shipping is included. So this is spiral plying. You see how this, the yarn is turning into a spiral, how I'm holding it. I'm holding both the, the single and the thread. So this is gonna wind up fast on that bobbin. So I have to pay attention to my trailing speed. I have to pay attention to how fast this is winding up. Right now I know I need to change. So let's do some things. So if I really let this go, you can really get a lot of twist. If I do it fast, the twist is not as much. I like to do a nice steady twist. Now the bigger sections are kind of fun because they make nice spirals. And this is, a, this is what spiral plying is. Just an awesome yarn, an awesome art yarn. This is, when you create a single like this one, the thick and thin, when you spiral ply it, it is, I cannot express this enough, it is absolutely beautiful. So if you're new to yarn, uh, spinning yarn, this is a perfect yarn to make because it just, absolutely is it lends itself to um, the way most beginners yarn naturally looks and that's that's perfectly fine because like you know those of us who have been spinning for a long time we have to stop and practice doing stuff like this after we've been spinning yarn uh, in a traditional way for a long time to kind of not get stuck in a rut This is a rainbow color thread, and uh, you know the, <laughs> the yarn is called 1980s wild denim because when I look at it, it just reminds me of a pair of jeans from the 80s. I was young during the 80s, but I was still there. Ready to 
gonna switch out hooks. A nice big section, nice twist. Oh, that was amazing! I love when that happens. Wonderful. All right, keep going. It's just so cool when you watch this happening and you watch, you know, the the actual spiral ply being created. It's just really a cool thing to watch. And of course, when you're plying, your yarn, your single, the single of yarn is twisting in the opposite direction of what you spun it. So if I was spinning and when I was spinning, my wheel was turning clockwise. My wheel was spinning um, like a clock, like the hands of the clock. Well, now that I'm plying, it's like the clock is going in reverse. So that's what plying is. You typically spin it the opposite direction. You ply it the opposite direction of how you spun it. And that keeps this together. That makes these two things join up and say, okay, let's be friends. We twist them in the opposite direction. And it's that whole thing, if you think about it, okay, opposites attract. We're gonna twist in the opposite direction of what you spun. It looks like there's so much of this single left on that bobbin down there. My goodness. I think we're gonna run out of thread. I have to get a different thread which is perfect, because all you do is you attach the thread together, you stop spinning, and you just um, tie the ends of the thread together, and then you can keep plying. So this entire spool of thread has almost lasted for five ounces. That's pretty awesome. Five ounces of the 1980s wild denim yarn. Oh, we're so close, but we're just not gonna make it. All right, what is going on here? This needs to get it together. That has to go down there. It's stuck on something. It's okay, pull it through, all good. See, I hardly have any thread left. But there's so much of this fiber left. Boo. So I really want to be careful. We're almost towards the end. There we go. So this is the end. Okay, I'm gonna actually take this and just wrap this around while this is loose. See that? That's that little thread is loose. Now I need another one of these because I'm not done yet. Let's go get it. We have another full one of these. And we put the ends together. I'm sure you can barely see this. And we just tie a knot high, high up. So we have a lot of ends. That's just fine. Undo this. Get our spiral back where we want it to be. We're going to keep applying. That was cool. We need some more tension. So we up our tension. And we're going to need some more. See, I hold this very loosely in my hands and it bumps up against my fingers and it comes from the bottom. Just rolls nicely from the bottom. That helps keep this thread 
stable in my hand. That's the way I do it. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. If you want, you don't even have to hold this thread. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This bobbin is being loaded in a terrible way. We've got to move that. You shouldn't let your bobbins get like that. I do. And that's not right. Ooh, big puff. That was awesome. Another cool spiral. So we have a lot of spinning videos. There's all sorts of spinning videos on two different wheels, and they are, um, there's almost 600 videos at this point. We're just, we're like two away from 600 videos. If you are interested in more of the details of the business and details of spinning, some of the older videos, extra bonus footage, you can just go to, click the button that says join, and there's three different membership levels. So there's what's called our bonus bunny level, and that has access to quite a few of the videos in our video library. Then there's the big bonus bunny level, which has access to a little bit more, including a lot more bonus footage. And then there's the highest level, which is the best bonus bunny level, and that has access to every single video, including ridiculous bloopers and bonus footage and really a lot of behind the scenes, a lot more vlogging. So just a lot more about the business. Um, so it just depends on what you're looking for, but those are three options that we have. And I highly encourage you to check that out. We are done. So I just pull and pull. I just tie this off at the end. Done. Release your tension. You're gonna use, oh boy, that just jumped off. You're gonna use your nitty knotty to take this out. I don't have my nitty knotty by me. My nitty knotty is gone. So you're gonna use your nitty knotty to take this off, but let's just show you a bit of how this actually looks when it's finished. I really like it. I really like this yarn. There's so many different colors. I love the dark blues and the reds that's in there. And then you have just a little bit of sparkle. So thank you for joining. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next video.